You can also fight to prove a point. You can also fight so that you don't give your opponent the pleasure of walking off laughing and enjoying that he has crushed you. But there are big ideals for which he can fight. He can fight for the constitution. Because there are many people, I included, I'm sure you are included. We want to stretch our constitution and see the limit. Let's see how it can go. Mm. We want to look at our laws. We are looking at our lawyers. Is it just the English and the good suits or there's something about them? We want to see something among our lawyers. They say jurisprudence. We want to see it grow. We want the law to grow. We want to see our judges. Our judges. Can our judges stand for this country? Can they stand for the constitution? Can they work without fear or favor? I understand the Chief Justice today is meeting the President on the matters of intimidation of the judges over this. We want to see hmm. how far can the judges withstand the heat from State House. This is, this is what is seeing. There can be no better time to be alive okay. in Kenya than now. That's all good so for, for us that, as spectators. We want to cheer on Gashagwa. <laughs> it's all good for us <laughs> as spectators. Cheer him on. Let him go on. Let him help us see whether our constitution can be lived. At what personal costs? To who? To, who? to Gashago himself. The moment you look at what uh, Dr. Gikonyo said, he yes. said, among the things that you must consider is yes. that even cardiologists now accept uh -huh. that there's something, a condition called broken heart. Yes. That you go through such pressure mm -hmm. and such disappointment mm -hmm. that it actually causes you bodily harm. But, but even love causes you such exactly so so <laughs> it's extreme emotion exactly yeah, that those are those are that things that happen to us in but the scale varies that extreme emotion we have seen the scale yes. it has taken Ashagua to hospital yes he has been admitted to hospital yes who right? tells you the other opponents are also having it easy well, let's that's that's what i'm saying for yes. him yeah. Ashagua <laughs> has already seen mm. where this could take him in terms of personal costs uh, I want to tell you. So this. should he really continue to push he against con that? He should continue, and I'm sure he will continue. You've seen a politician in the parliament coming to take out of his office with oxygen. <laughs> yes, God rest his soul. He later passed on. Uh, you see, the moment you enter politics, there are certain risks you must be prepared for, including your own health. Let me tell you this. Many of the politicians we have in this world, let's talk about this country, mm. have diseases which you can, you don't need Gekonyo to tell you, mm. which you can directly attribute to the engagement. Mm. These are the hazards in politics. Yeah. Including your lifestyle. Including developing diabetes because you, you, can't, you don't have time to eat. Mm. On, there are many stretches you go through without eating. Mm. Then you, you trigger things in the body and you get diabetes, which you may not have even gotten, like Manyora got naturally perhaps. <laughs> so so this, this, this is, these are the hazards of that, 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 that uh, profession. It's a profession with hazards. One of them is that your personal health comes second. Your family comes third. What? <laughs> you know, the, if you look at our politics, there are two qualities that I see as very eminent. One, it's an addiction. Correct. Because you have to ask, people who go into politics, let's take the example of somebody who say, has won once and loses again. There are those who look and say, enough. But the vast majority don't. They don't. And if, if, you, if you looked at politics rationally, then mm. you'll be like, ah. So the one and only professor of politics, that is Mr. Aman Manyora, has come out to talk about several things which are happening at the moment. And in relation to the Gachago impeachment saga, there are some things which he has exposed, saying that, number one, the fighting is that one of the reasons why these people may fight is to prove a point. The prove a point that they are either politically strong or they have political prowess and masses behind them that is number one reason of fight they're fighting because they want to have that political infrastructure which is in a way that they know that if i fight my people will be behind me and i will be backed by numbers that is one of the reason why the fights are always there in politics the aim is to prove a point 
Another thing is that you don't want to give your opponent pleasure at all, at all. You won't be f just sit there, give your opponent enough time or enough space to be just roaming around and beating you mercilessly in terms of political games. No, they have to f fight so that they don't give opponents pressure or they, that smooth sailing. For example, you have seen what is happening with Mr. Rigadi Gashagwa. He has fought, he has gone, he has used all tactics to survive in the throne so they are already have seen some tweets somewhere online but i don't want to talk about them maybe they are saying that the the military has ordered the restatement of mr kashagwa's security but i'm not sure about them because anybody can just write anything online so another reason why the people are is the professor said that fight is there is for fight for the constitution and fight for the constitutional limits where can our constitution be stretched up to you have seen what the lawyers and are doing in the courts apart from the fancy english and fancy submissions which we always hear there is a lot which becomes with these submissions and they are stretching the law they are exposing every bit of what is happening in terms of governance and political guidance in the country we have seen how things are going we have seen even the judges being intimidated that is according to what mr Hammond said so the it's about seeing what the judges can do in this game you know the as political game are going to on in the country there's some things which have come out very clearly number one politics is a game of risk including your health you saw what happened to mr rigadi gashagwa mr rigadi gashagwa was even taken to hospital because of the politics he was feeling bad politics is very as hard as you may go in a stretch where you don't eat just with anybody because you fear poisoning your lifestyle may even change because you may go for long stretches without eating because you fear that these things can or i can be poisoned anywhere that's one of the risks which comes with politics so that is it for today